welcome back to the channel, and look who's back! This is Mr. Wallace of Supercars of London, no less. Um, first of all, this is a, a, a two-part challenge. It is. Also across both of our channels. Pardon, you got somebody in there. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> a video on each channel. So, Paul is also filming this as well. There's a link below to his video and take on what's about to unfold. Two challenges coming in two very different cars. Uh, today, we're in two low tie. Both 410s, yours is an Evora, mine is an Exige. And so we have got to go from A to B, which in this case is Bista Heritage, where Lotus have their setup today, which is awesome. And we've got to get ourselves to Caffeine and Machine yeah. for a fine burger. Caveat, no motorways allowed, Yeah. no technology allowed, so yeah. AKA no sat navs. So what we have is a screenshot. <laughs> so Lotus has provided the screenshot. In no way, shape or form is that actually a map. Because if you think about how a map works, you're able to reference the roads and go to a different page and go, oh yeah, this leads here, this leads there. And those are pace notes <laughs> if, if you actually have a co-driver to or follow them. you know at what point you are. <laughs> or at which point you are. So other than a piece of paper giving us the general direction, uh, I've only just discovered, looking at that, that it is in fact north of where we are. Northwest. Northwest. Yeah. Winner is effectively the person who arrives there first, yeah. and then I think that will translate into the next challenge. Different cars, different themes, and it's resulting in a destination which is very exciting. Yeah. Let's go! Okay. Paul's still faffing. Paul is still faffing. Really, speed isn't the thing. It's navigation skills of which I have many imaginary skills based on the application of Waze and Google Maps. Onward! <laughs> so, while I'm on the road, I assume I need to be on with the assumption that I'm heading in the right direction. Let's give you a little bit of an overview on what we're actually in. So this is Exige 410. 410, conveniently standing for 410 horsepower. That's generally quite a lot, but when you apply that to the lack of weight that this car has, just over 1,100 kilograms, well, it goes like a mosquito on crack. No, that was definitely the wrong way. The wrong way, for sure. I shall go back on myself now. Definitely wrong. Oh yes, also there's no power steering in this car. So, when you're going slow, it's kind of heavy. When you're going fast, steering feels amazing. Ah, uh, there's Paul! There's Paul! There's Paul! I hope he doesn't... I hope he hasn't seen me and assumes this is the right way to go. Because he... Yes, he has! No! I just went... <laughs> Inadvertently. Now he's also in a 410, 410 horsepower Evora. The difference being 200 kilograms. Now this isn't a race, so I won't be going flat out. But if it were, I've got a feeling I might have the edge. We're running sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Speed bump! Now he's really catching up. Oh, that was okay. Despite the uh, pretty substantial carbon splitter on this thing, that's a, that's a big one. He's gonna encounter the same thing. His car is definitely more road bias than mine, having back seats to carry the grandkids. This thing is still raw and pure in comparison. His is an S-Class compared to my racing Mosquito. I do not see Monsieur Wallace. It's when I come to, well, that thing, a junction. That I don't know where I'm going. 40. Well, that's the motorway is right, and we said no motorways. So I'm just gonna gamble on this left. Oh, I have no idea if this is right or not. So I know we're going through the Cotswolds, and an iconic part of the Cotswolds is Chipping Norton. Chipping Norton. So I'm, I'm heading for Chipping Norton, and then from there, I guess I can work my way up through the Cotswolds. Well, there's no going left here, is there? There's no going left here. Straight on. Ooh! There's a sign there for Soho Farmhouse. Now interestingly, 
this is also somewhat of a track biased car. Now at this speed, you would quite rightly assume that it would pass every track noise regulation, certainly in the UK. But after four and a half thousand RPM, this thing is ridiculous. Surely that doesn't pass noise regs. I'd be impressed if it did. Now then, not a single sign for Chipping Norton. However, I have just spotted the Socialites Country Retreat that is a sign for Soho Farmhouse, which is in that vicinity. Let us drop cogs and make haste. This is how small this car is. Rather than them putting a window button on the driver's side for both the passenger and the driver's side doors. They've only got one this side and one that side. The reason being is I can just press it like that. That's the width of the car. That, that's My hand is on the edge of the car right now. Right, there's no wonder that Soho Farmhouse is so popular. There are more signs for navigation to that place than there are an entire town of the Cotswolds. Look, another Soho Farmhouse sign. Where's the sign to the actual town. There we are, left onto the B4022, I believe is the direction I need to be going. Here we are, made it to the first checkpoint. Granted it's a checkpoint I created myself, but this is the general direction. Okay, look, do you see? This is the piece of paper we were given. We are now here. We've worked our way down to Chipping Norton. So we're in this little town. We've effectively got to head northwest. So Long Compton, I guess, is the place I should look for next. Then onwards up, mm, ships and on star. And there it is, Cafe and the Machine. Stone wall. The thing is, while it doesn't seem there's a great deal riding on this, other than the first person to consume a juicy burger, there is, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, part two of this episode, which will ultimately end up in one of us, either myself or Paul, driving a hypercar. So this is important, okay? Now then, now then, this roundabout and that Subaru dealer I recognize. The only problem is. I do not know. Morton and the Marsh, that sounds familiar. Stratford that way. Is this right? I don't know. I might have just made the worst move. Stowe, Siren, Sester. By the way, how spectacular is the open-gated gearbox? Well, in fact, not even open-gated, just entirely open gearbox on the Exige. Look at it. What a work of art. There's Paul! There's Paul! No! No! Oh, I knew I'd messed up. Convenient, conveniently placed lay-by. No, I cannot believe it. I can't believe, I cannot believe it. I've got to go, I don't believe it. I think I've messed up anyway. Maybe he's going the wrong way. Maybe he's going the wrong way. Let's see. Which way I'm going? The sandwich 
van, right now, really. Looks like a straight piece of road. Using the size of the Lotus to squeeze past the sandwich man. What, 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 I recognize this, I recognize this. I recognize this. Caffeine machine is on the road. Come on MX-5, come on baby. No, Paul's got this for sure. Paul's got this. I can't believe it. Oh, this is the road Caffeine Machine is on, I'm telling you. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Is there a Lotus? Is there a blue Evora in this car park? It's an Alpine. No! What? What is that, man? I can't believe it. I can't believe we saw each other. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going the wrong way. No, I got to the Subaru roundabout. I was like, I know this round. I'm sure it's this way. Ah oh, man. See, I, I said I was like local knowledge will help James because at least he's been to this region before and I just did about I genuinely did about four loops that roundabout because I was like I reckon <laughs> it's got a different way. <laughs> I can't believe I won. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe this. And it's like three minutes, three minutes I reckon, because all I did was park up and get out. And I just left the camera rolling. <laughs> So gutted. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. I think what's so disorientated when you don't have nav is looking at it on the paper. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm much further up than I was. Okay, I was, mate, I was, I, I found um, Chipping Norton. Yeah. I got stopped at Chipping Norton. Mate. Stopped, looked at the map. I was like, I'm here, <laughs> next village. I got to go to some other place. I was like, look on the map, go a bit further north. And then as I was closing in on that roundabout, I was like, oh, I know this area. <laughs> And then you came past me the other, the in wrong the, direction. The wrong direction. Right. Well, I wasn't sure if you were going the wrong direction. I, was going the I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and literally, that was the best ending to. I, I was looking at the map, which the screenshot is actually quite large. We saw each other quite a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. <laughs> and I, I can't believe it. Man. I won. So you did win. Um, listen, link below to his channel or video, depending on which goes out first. Uh, we still got day two though. Yeah. In different cars. In different cars. Different, different challenges. challenges. Yeah. And uh, I did give away in mind that the result of it um, ends up in one of us probably driving a hypercar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it matters. I'm doing alright. I was just about to say you probably had more fun in the Exige than I did in the Avora. As good as this is, yeah. I wanted a How bit more it? hardcore. Really? Yeah. This is. That's the one for you then. Yeah. They, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. No, I, I could hear yeah. you enjoying it really, when yeah. you're going in the wrong oh. direction. <laughs> <laughs> Managed to get that on film too. <laughs> right, uh, check out each other's channels, uh, day two, challenge two, coming soon. Ciao for now. Bye.